In this video, I will explain how to convert your physical sim to the eSIM. Actually, this is a very simple step. Just to follow me the steps to activate your eSIM. Actually, before that, I am using the Android phone, and last week I migrated in the iPhone 13. So I have to follow the following steps for activate the eSIM. Just to follow the my steps. Actually, when I purchased the VA SIM, I did not register my mail ID. So the initial step is you have to register your email ID. So the first step is once again. So wait a minute. I will just confirm the one thing only to update the email ID. Wait a minute. Sorry, wait a second to update your email ID. Just wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah. So just to follow with the steps. Actually, the first step is you have to register your email ID. Suppose if you are not register your email ID, you will not get the QR code. So the first step is if you are not register your email ID with your VI and mobile number, first you have to update your email ID. So to update the email ID, you have to send down message. The message pattern is you have to type email, then your type your email ID, then send to the one double nine. So this is the very beginning steps. If you have already update your email ID in the register mobile number, you can't st skip this. You can't skip the steps. Suppose if you are not update your email ID, just type email and email ID and send the one double nine. After that, you can you have to receive one mail. Actually, the mail is received the spam. You have to request the update the mail id you have to click to verify your mail id after sending the message you get a one mail id from this number sorry this mail id after you have to verify the mail you get a one message like your email id will be updated within 48 hours so after verify the mail you have to wait 48 hours so after the 48 hours you have to send one message for eSIM. First, you have to update the mail ID email and the second step is type eSIM and your email ID and send to the own double name. So after that, you are getting the positive message like thank you for the messaging. Uh, thank you for message. You have to get a further message in the mail ID. Sorry, in the message. Thank you message one getting message. And the next step, you have to send another own message the same number. Just type eSIM Y and then click. So after that, you received one automated call from something number. So you have to attend the call and then press one for the confirmation for eSIM activation. After pressing the one, you get a one email ID to the spam folder. So this is my the actually this is my the in below. They are sent the one. Actually, uh, there are two. One is Apple and the second one is Samsung. For the Apple, you have to go to on the settings, select mobile service, click on add eSIM. Then you have to use QR code and scan the QR in below. Uh, the QR code system will, QR code will be added. For the security purpose, I will hide the QR code. Just I will show the off QR code only. So in below the QR code. Yeah, this is a QR code. I will show this the uh, so here this QR code will be showing uh, but just look at the bottom of the page okay fine so after activate your eSIM you have to wait 24 hours to send and receive SMS so after that you have to wait for the 24 hours for send and receive message so thank you these are steps for activate your eSIM if you are if you have any doubts or issue just comment below in this video I will help you and thank you